Every time we are challenged, we are getting mad, like we are like really pushing ourselves. In practice and with the talk, we are going deep and uh, it permits ourselves on the field when, it's, when it matters to just look at each other and like, we got it. I mean, we know how to do it. And uh, yeah, so now we just need to grind the game, being technically and mechanically good at CS and uh, just growing uh, on the process. G2 are looking good. Flame is going to have to go in. Lucky takes his head clean off his shoulders, putting even more pressure on the rest of Na'Vi. As it stands, Edward in a confrontation, going to get the better of shocks. And now he's going to lead the player advantage, going firmly in Na'Vi's hands. They're just going to get this retake. And he's just going to plant safe. This does mean he's going to have a claustrophobic hold, though. Once Flamey starts to make a move in, he just has an opener. Side off at his disposal, and Kenny S with the superior firepower is going to light up Flamey and G2 in their first round in a while. It's a one on three here for Kenny, and he has to go. A kit is not an option. It's got to be a full 10 second defuse, so Kenny's got to find them all. That's going to be it. Navi's going to take this Inferno against G2. It's going to be 16 7. It was really hard. We went down 12 to 6. We still managed to take the first gun run, uh, but unfortunately, when you took the second run around right after, uh, it just break us the economy. And when you get the economy wrecked at 13-7, then it's really hard to, to come back in the game. They've got two players at B, that's going to be Tizian and Next, but no HP player has gone down. Next not looking as strong towards B as he did previously. Tizian though, top fragging so far, 16 kills to his name, he knows Kenny's nearby and he's hitting shots now. Already got the eyes on him with the op, Kenny switches over, sure they made so much noise. Shocks, it's a one on one. Tizian hit Lucky, they pulled this back. And next wants the fight, but Shox is going to win it. It's 14 rounds for the French. But it gets there. Jax is now able to very comfortably look toward jungle. That allows Shox to be no! 16 to 13. <laughs> and Vitality and G2 beat big. Naturally, uh, everyone just came up, step up uh, individually, but also about the calls. And we just had a really good synergy together. And it was just down to all the mental thing. Uh, I mean, if we had been weak on the, on the psychological aspect, we definitely would have lost the game 100%. But we never gave up. Uh, all the boys, the coach, everyone in the team just uh, cheered up and we just fought ourselves one by one. We didn't have a proper objective coming to the event, to be honest. We, um, we obviously want to go as far as possible, uh, but we, we don't have um, any specific objective. Um, I'm just happy we, we went today. We went today and uh, I really want to reach the payoff. We all want. So uh, even though we, we haven't worked for so much time so far, uh, we, we got to have high objectives. will back him up. That is fantastic work by him. They didn't expect him to be in the open like that. Most CT setups are very passive and lucky as anything, but it actually goes down to the one versus one. But he wants Taco to have that shadow of doubt in his mind that he's already left, that he's going to walk out. Lucky pulls it back brilliantly. Four kills to clutch it back. If Shark's the run in, Taco's got to be perfect. Oh, he nearly is. Snapped up high as well, but Jax just barely got away with one. 22 HP, he's got to clutch again. And they'll go relatively quickly on this. Jax could actually get a lineup if they don't check the proper position toward Graveyard. Headshot potential for the AK, he's got to look the right spot. Knows and sees oh. and lines up, he's got both again. It is map and indeed match point, as now the retake begins of UMPs and pistols. This game's got an old school feel to it. G2, Kenny and Shocks performing. You've got old MIBR back in form and with the victory, 16 to 12. Not to discount the young blood either. I'm impressed with Lucky and Jax, both of them finally having a better game. On a perdu, bah, je vais me répéter, mais on a perdu les deux pistoles qui nous ont fait mal. Il euh, y a des situations de post-plan, des 4v2, 4v3, où on est là un peu le, la goutte au front, on n'ose pas vraiment y aller. Alors que si on était en prac ou si on était dans un match un peu moins sous pression, on arriverait à mettre ce genre de rune. 
qui nous ont fait mal. Euh, malgré ça, on a montré une très bonne mentalité, on a réussi à mettre des rounds importants, il y a eu des individualités. Et c'est ce, ce qui fait que le match a été mine de rien assez serré. I definitely think we can be like one of the best team in the world. Uh, I think we have like pretty great individuals. Our synergy is good. I think we need just experience and to extend our map pool. And I think we can be one of the best. We are just too young at the moment uh, to, ex to manage to win uh, uh, bigger teams, I would say. And uh, we just have to accept it. We are in a good way and we need to continue like this and there is no, no reason that uh, we, we won't improve in the future. But we might circle back to where we begun because this was a poor start in the challenger stage. There were signs of life, certainly there was in this stage as well, but today it's all come for naught. It's Kenny and Shocks, the two that they built this team around that have to try and keep them alive. And it's not going to happen, it's Ariel and Sergey. We focused on other maps because we wanted to open the map pool as much as possible. I know it sounds um, maybe uh, too much to handle, uh, one month and a half playing seven maps, I mean, are they crazy? They are not favorites and they are playing so many maps. They will not have strong maps at the major and they will fail. Uh, you can think that way or you can think this is our year and we will fight and then we will open this map pool and we will uh, probably lose some maps but we will uh, first trouble people and then like being like proper proper contenders so that's why we are working this way <laughs> 